Hello people, my name is Strange Templar, and it is time to start a new adventure. That's right, if you know what this screen is, you know what's coming. We are playing Minecraft, and not just any Minecraft, we are playing Feed the Beast. Uh, Feed the Beast Unleashed, to be exact. I believe it's 1.1.3 1 uh, for Minecraft 1.5.2. If you guys have no idea what I'm saying, don't worry, I don't either. Uh, but for those of you guys who do know what's going on, uh, we are doing Feed the Beast Unleashed, Minecraft, all that good stuff. Game mode is going to be survival. Um, I was thinking about doing hardcore, but then I realized there's going to be a lot of editing in this. There's going to be a lot of, you know, if I'm going to be strip mining, you guys do not want to watch me strip mining. And I'm probably going to fall in lava, destroy the whole world, and then you guys are going to think I was lying when I said I destroyed the whole world. So, we're going to go into survival. Uh, the world name, let's call it, um, let's call it Let's Play, because that's what we're doing. We're doing a Let's Play of Minecraft. Why did I just blank out on that? I don't know. We're playing Minecraft. Uh, seed for the world. What should we do? Let's be Strange Let's Play. I already did Strange Templar, uh, both one and two words, so let's do Strange Let's Play. That way, you guys, if you want to play along, uh, just put in that seed right there, and you'll have the exact same world as me. Uh, the spawn point is going to be a little bit different, but everything generation-wise is going to be exactly the same. So that's all good stuff. So let's go ahead and build the world and see what we end up with. I'm really excited for this. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, Minecraft is kind of my guilty pleasure. It's a game that I've always been playing when I'm not streaming. I'm underwater. I literally just spawned underwater. That's interesting. Okay, I have never spawned underwater like that. That's... Okay, well, I'm glad I was paying attention when I spawned. Otherwise, I'd probably be dead 17 times. Um, so it looks like we're in a swamp. Let's see what else we got. Mm, swamp. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, Minecraft has always been my guilty pleasure. It's that game that I play when I'm not streaming or recording. And I was debating whether I should do a Minecraft series or not. Uh, just because it is kind of like my getaway game. But then I realized, you know, I really enjoy this game. I should definitely be sharing it with you. And so, here we are, in a brand new world. Punching trees. Uh, now, the first two couple episodes, as all Minecraft episodes generally go, are probably going to be a bit slow. Uh, mainly just getting our resources, trying to find a place to build, uh, set up base, all that good stuff. I just want to get a little bit of wood here. Uh, probably going to attack these cows, wherever they are, get some leather, get some meat, get some food so we can survive. And uh, basically just try to survive the first couple nights. I do, um, let's see, options. I should have it set difficulty hard, because dying is fun, and uh, especially later on, once you get like the really powerful armors and weapons and stuff, anything other than hard is just ridiculously easy. So um, that's kind of my... my theory in that regards is let's let's play on hard uh, because you know hard hard is fun and let's kill some chickens more cows uh, first things I want to do right off the bat I would love to get well berries is a great find because that means we have replenishable food right off the bat uh, but I want to get some sheep so we can get a bed so we don't have to stay or you know, dig a hole first night. That That's never fun. Digging a hole for the first night just to survive. Never fun. Uh, plus, updating spawn point is a good thing. That way, when we do finally die, and you know, anyone who has watched any of my other videos knows, uh, dying is definitely going to happen. Uh, so, uh, if we can update our spawn point uh, right off the bat, that would be great. Just so we know where we're going to be. And, uh, slime already? I hear slimes. Where are the slimes? Down in there. Okay, well, there's our first cave. Uh, probably. There's also a water beehive. We got ourselves some reeds, so we can start making ourselves some paper and books. This is not a bad start, really. Uh, let's go ahead and grab those reeds as well. I don't... Like, I love swamps because they have the rubber trees. Uh, both types of rubber trees, actually. And I really like my electronics. But I don't want to build my home in a swamp. Uh, so, but right next to it, I am all for building right next to a swamp. I did see a forest over on this area. If we go start chopping down a forest, 
we can totally make something happen. Um, hopefully we can find like a crossroads between swamp, forest, and something else. That would be great. Uh, but if not, we'll probably just start cutting down these trees and uh, moving on from there. So let's see what we got over here. I'd like... If we could find a desert close by as well uh, for, you know, all the glass and sand that we need, that would be probably the best. Uh, so we'd have regular trees, we'd have rubber trees, and swamps also mean we'd have all the... the uh, what word am I thinking of? Slimes that we want. Uh, blue slimes are new in Feed the Beast. They spawn everywhere, but the green slimes are actually going to be better for us in the long run because they make better tools. And uh, you know, especially once we get started with Tinker's Construct, it'll be really good to have those tools. Uh, barley is going to get us cheap bread. Is that a ravine? Nice. Ravines are always good for resources. Oh, this is an awesome ravine, actually. Holy crap, we got... Does that actually, like, go underneath the river? Let's check this out. No, it does... Oh, it should, though. Totally should. Don't you dare push me in. No! I said no! Okay, they want to, because they know it's coming. I'm going to kill them eventually, and they know it. They're not happy. Okay, lots of cows. What we really want is sheep. Okay, so I'm just kind of following this... Swamp slash uh, forest border. See what else we can find. Because if we can find like a crossroads uh, of three biomes, that would be great. Why is there a zombie out in the open? That's not right. Okay, so it looks like... Would that be Extreme Hills biome? Kind of looks like it. So maybe what we'll do is set up camp right here. Uh, cut down these trees. Set up camp, have a nice little waterfront view. Oh, there's some oil way off in the distance there. Uh, but I kind of want to get set up, at least partially, with some sh sort of shelter. Uh, even if it's just like a wood plank box. You know, that's how it always starts in Minecraft. You start with a wood plank box and eventually you dominate the world. You know, it starts with that wood plank box, though. Alright, so there's rubber. There's rubber trees. So, and there's a cave system with iron. This is where we're going to set up. Perfectly safe. Zombies are our neighbors. But we have plants to face those zombies. All right, so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and get started here. Let's get ourselves a workbench. It's always important. Get ourselves some sticks. Always important. And then we're going to make ourselves a pick. Get ourselves some stone, and then we'll start working on some stone tools. Uh, stone pick is the only, or wood pick is the only wooden tool that I ever get in the beginning because it basically is obsolete as soon as you get this stone here. And uh, really, once we have this stone, we don't need anything else. Oh, I forget how slow it mines, too. Wooden picks are just extremely, oh, all wooden tools to be honest, are extremely, extremely slow and pretty much worthless. So, how much wood do we have here at this point? Or stone, yeah. Uh, I want to get a stone axe, a stone pick, and a stone sword to start, and I also want to get a furnace so we can start making coal if we can't find any, uh, even though there should probably be coal down in there somewhere. Uh, copper is good because I really, my goal with this series is uh, first first little bit, I want to do some exploring, you know, probably do some cave diving, see what all we can find. Uh, but then I really want to work on autom autom automation. Why do I want to say automization? That sounds like an ottoman, not an item. Anyways, I want to I get some autom ah, automation going. Why can I not talk today? Man, I just got done recording some Splunky and I couldn't talk then either. Uh, but, you know, once we once we get automatic stuff going, we have some, we have a lot of stuff that we can do. Um, it'll definitely make life easier, especially at the beginning. So that's definitely where we want to go to start. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll throw the wood pickaxe in. We'll throw these planks in. That'll start getting us some coal. 
we have ourselves an axe so let's go ahead and get this rubber going rubber wood um, and then I'll probably get a house set up and then we'll call it a day uh, but definitely since this is the start of the series let me know what you guys want to see this is feed the beast unleashed there's over a hundred different mods that add a ton of different stuff so if you guys really ha love a m specific mod and want to see it let me know otherwise I'm gonna kind of do my own thing I really want to get a base established I love building larger projects I love like I said the odd odd automated automated systems uh, we'll probably definitely get into applied energistics for our uh, item storage we're gonna get uh, build craft and industrial craft going for power forestry we'll play around with bees we got we got a lot we can do um, some of these mods are completely new to me uh, I'm fairly used to tinkers construct but as of like the the new feed the beast packs um, I'm I'm still used to direwolf from the 1.4 minecraft really so anything that's been added since then uh, darkcraft I know n literally nothing about I mean I know that it's all the force gems and whatnot like that I know that force gems are going to be required for some industrial craft and I think for some build craft they changed the recipes on that which really makes me upset, but, you know, we'll definitely be playing around with it a bunch, and uh, we'll, we'll learn, we'll learn, but definitely post in comments what you guys want to see, uh, if you guys have any ideas for cool projects we can work on, otherwise, like I said, I will just go and do my own thing, and uh, I'm more than happy to do that for you guys, but if you have any input, definitely let me know, because we'll do that too. Okay, let's go ahead that I want to put four more so we get ourselves some good coal going and oh crap it's almost night time and I did not find some sheep crap okay so at this point what we're gonna do just to say safe is build ourselves a nice ugly oh, man let's put some dirt there we're gonna put build ourselves our nice uh, waterfront view house and by nice, I mean it is going to be ugly. But, you know what? It's going to be functional. It's going to keep us safe. And uh, I will see you guys in the morning. I will let this whole night play out and uh, get a couple more things done. And I will see you in the morning. And hopefully we'll go find ourselves some sheep to kill, make ourselves a bed, make this house look a little <laughs> more presentable. And uh, start working up to uh, spelunking in some caves. Uh, but with that, guys, I think I am going to call it a day of recording. Thank you, as always, for watching. I will see you next time. And until next time, don't be a stranger. Take care.